Welcome to 2025. Whoa. This year is gonna be the one. I'm a programmer and in this video I will show you my goals for this year. And if you watch to the end, I'll share the truth about my new year resolutions and programming. This year I want to code three major projects. I want to finish my PowerPoint generator. I had a couple of videos on the channel showcasing it, but I haven't worked on it for the last five months. I want to come back to it and finally finish it. I think it's a useful program that can be very helpful for people. Additionally, I really enjoyed working on it, and it was a project I was actually passionate about. I have recently started working on my own inventory management system. I streamed myself coding it, and I really enjoyed it. I'd like to continue working on the program and stream for 3 hours every week for the next 2 months or so of just coding, UI design, and bug fixing. Finally, I really want to make my own browse extension using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I have an idea for one that filters your Google searches to remove the Google nonsense, sponsored elements, and product carries of things. I don't know how to do it yet, but I will learn along the way. Before we continue, make sure to comment your 2025 goals. In 2025, I want to explore more of .NET and build more and more demanding projects. I'll be using platforms like Leak Code, and of course, I will continue creating tutorials and videos about my coding journey. Let's see how far I can push myself this year with C Sharp. Leak Code is a popular tool for gaining problem solving skills and learning how to write efficient code. My goal for 2025 regarding Leak Code is to solve 300 Leak Code problems using C Sharp. That's almost one problem a day. The video on solving the first 50 problems is coming soon. Once I hit the main milestone, I plan on making a big video discussing everything I've learned and my overall opinion on using lead code to learn. One smaller thing I want to do in 2025 is improve my GitHub profile. I'll contribute to some open source projects and I'll also upload more of my own projects. Finally, I'll again rework my README to make it more personalized. As you may know, I like learning new things when in regards to programming. In 2025, I want to get better at web development stuff, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. To improve, I work on some random small projects when I have some extra time. The final project I want to make is the browsing extension I mentioned before. And to do that, I have to start with the basics. Those were my goals. But what about the ones I set one year ago? Well, all has changed. I discontinued my budget manager and started working on other projects. Nevertheless, I am still happy with my 2024. Don't get discouraged when things don't work out for you. Move on and everything will be great.